This is the Spirit and Wellness Show. News and information from a higher perspective. Your host, Harry Wilkinson. Yes, hello. Welcome to the Spirit and Wellness Show. My name is Harry Wilkinson, and this is the show where we take a look at the days and weeks, events, happenings in the world, happenings in politics, in uh, international news, in technology, in science, in entertainment, and we take a look at all of these things from a higher perspective. And by a higher perspective, uh, I'm talking about a perspective that recognizes our oneness. Uh, a perspective that some might call uh, metaphysical, you might call it spiritual, uh, you might feel it has sort of a uh, maybe a, a Buddhist kind of approach to it. It's not. But uh, it is a way of understanding how we create everything in our world and how in engaging in these experiences which are basically illusions that we have created and we've created them to have experiences and to remember who and what we really are, the oneness of who we are. And this has been a week where I feel this approach is particularly important. Uh, hence the title of our episode today is Belief in Separation. Because it's the belief in separation which is perhaps the biggest illusion of all, but it's the belief in that that drives almost everything. In our world, at least the things we uh, sometimes judge as being negative, You know, I talked about early on, uh, back in 2016, when uh, the primaries were going on for the presidential election, uh, and then later when uh, the election itself was going on, and I talked about our current president, Donald Trump, representing something that's very familiar to Native American uh, uh, belief systems, uh, representing Hayoka medicine, Hayoka uh, being, uh, well, it represents a, not only a, a source of chaos, but a source of, of, of humor in a way. Hayoka medicine uh, people, Hayoka shamans, turn everything upside down. Turn everything on its head. And by doing that, it holds up a mirror to what your beliefs are, making you question what you may have taken for granted, and then reaffirm what is true for you. And I've said in many ways that uh, Donald Trump represents uh, the American version of that. In uh, particularly, you know, and, and Hayokas are also very, uh, they're brash and they're, they can be rude. Uh, the humor they indulge in is often scatological and not particularly <laughs> refined. Um, and all of these are things that uh, 
you know, we can qualities we can uh, find in Donald Trump. Uh, Hayoka mocks what we often consider to be sacred rules, and again, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of thing that that calls into question these things that we have called sacred. Are they? And do we wish them to continue to be? And what do they really mean to us? And in shaking things up like that, you get rid of some things that maybe are no longer necessary or things that have just, uh, you know, outlived their usefulness or, or approaches and ways of thinking that have just become ingrained and aren't necessarily uh, worthwhile anymore. And it also shows us what is important and what we do want to hold on to. And I believe now, more than ever, that we are going through this process. So, and I know it's hard. There, there are a lot of people who, I mean, there's there certainly people who support Donald Trump in everything he does and, and feel he's doing a, a, a tremendous job as commander-in-chief and doing everything they've always wanted. But there are an awful lot of other people who feel like he is, uh, in many ways, kind of a buffoon. Uh, and that he is causing damage to this country. And that's Hayoka Medicine. <laughs> that, that is exactly what it is. Uh, Hayoka can be divisive. But only uh, until such moment as we recognize the oneness. And this is, again is something we're going through in this country. Uh, <clears throat> belief in separation works in a variety of ways. Um, it's a term that's, that's used in uh, some spiritual circles. It's a term you'll find in the Course in Miracles. Um, it's a term that uh, you'll hear people like Marion Williamson use. Belief in separation in that context is the idea that we see everything around us, we see each other as not being part of us, as being separate, as being something else. And ultimately, that we are we see ourselves as being separate from divine, or God, if you like the term, uh, the terminology, uh, you know, that includes God. But it's the idea that we ourselves aren't divine; we aren't uh, one with divine mind or God or however you want to look at it but that we are separate and that we have uh, pulled our way ourselves away from it. That's an illusion. It's an illusion we create <laughs> so that we can have that experience and remember and reconnect to the truth of who and what we really are. But it's a very powerful illusion and, and very convincing. And it's something I, I think this week really uh, has shown in so many ways what the belief in separation uh, is all about. Where do I start? Well, I guess we can start with the terrorism attacks. London was uh, <clears throat> hit again last night by a terrorist attack, if you hadn't heard. And this is hot on the heels of what happened in uh, Manchester. And again, if you've forgotten or haven't heard or, or perhaps have <laughs> just hasn't, haven't been ta paying attention, uh, in Manchester there was uh, a concert by the performer uh, Ariana Grande. 
and after that concert there was an attack uh, and quite a few people lost their lives there were a lot of injured and just late last night uh, there was an incident in London and in this incident which the Prime Minister uh, Theresa May has blamed on the evil ideology of Islamist extremism a van mowed down pedestrians on London Bridge then the occupants of the van got out of the van and started stabbing patrons at nearby bars and restaurants until they were these three attackers fatally shot by officers now the latest on this uh, has uh, well at least seven dead 48 uh, uh, injured and in hospitals uh, but they haven't you know completed the uh, the counting Apparently there was the planning of this attack involved more people than just the three that that carried it out and so looks like uh, a dozen people have been arrested so far. Uh, so far there's been no claim of responsibility but investigators feel that it's either inspired uh, if not directed uh, by Islamic State. This is uh, something that apparently this group, Islamic State, uh, is doing, calling upon followers to carry out attacks uh, in a bizarre sort of celebration of the Islamic holiday Ramadan. And of course, in the aftermath of the attack, there there's a lot of via couples and uh, concern about why you know authorities were sort of caught unaware by an attack like this, in the same way that they were caught unaware in the Manchester attack. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, and you can tighten your security as much as you want to. You can try to plan for these things. You can't. You can't plan for people who are devoted to their belief in separation <laughs> so deeply. that they are willing to hurt others and themselves in any way possible. And this belief in separation works in a lot of different ways. Uh, certainly as I've mentioned, you know, on the part of Islamic terrorists, there's this belief that they are separate from others who are basically uh, unworthy and evil and need to be destroyed. I mean, that's what uh, a jihad as they call it, consists of. It's a, it's a belief that uh, 